Brett, the fire and the and Banks Peninsula and Port Hills. Our fire, the one in my yeah, backyard. I was, was yeah. going to say, you've, you've got a personal situation. Oh, with very that. much. We looked down on most of it for the first couple of days. Uh, <clears> and whilst it was blowing northwest, uh, our property was, was relatively health, you know, relatively safe from it because it was blowing away from us. And it was okay. Um, it was a disaster for everyone else, but we could see it all happening, transforming around us. Uh, but then on Wednesday, the uh, wind changed, and I was busy helping a neighbour move their equipment onto a bare piece of land on our property on one of our other farms. And I was driving down the main road, which is sort of a kilometre or more away, and uh, the ash was falling into my eyes as I was driving down the road with the machinery, and I thought, hmm, we've got a problem. So uh, we got together with a whole lot of uh, neighbours, came and gave us a hand, and we put all, all our uh, equipment to, uh, to work and cut a fire break. Uh, in the end, we didn't need it. Um, the fire was stopped about 150 metres away from our boundary, but it was getting that close. Uh, and what, there's trees around there too, isn't there? Oh, there's lots of trees, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of sprayed off gorse, which is a wonderful, uh, <laughs> wonderful fire break. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was a major problem. And whilst we were, uh, we were cutting our fire break, the helicopter saved two houses we, we look on to, and they did an outstanding job quite outstanding job to see them fly, flying in formation putting this you know stopping the fire was brilliant just really superbly brilliant but of course that was nigh on dark and they they left after the fire was out around those houses and the fire brigade thought the fire in the valley was largely out and headed for worsley's road where they were still going gangbusters and just on dark as we were uh, finishing off the fire break a uh, flare-up occurred and in, in the valley behind the two houses that the uh, helicopters were put out and um, that raced probably 150 metres in 10 seconds. And then a 15 acre property, um, houses, trees, sheds, was completely destroyed whilst we watched it in 45 minutes. Just completely lost. That and it was be that a, quick. That would be a very emotional moment for well, you guys. Well, it was, well, not so much emotional, it was just very sobering because we thought, well, okay, the, the helicopters had been able to stop the fire at what were farm tracks, which were sort of four and a half, five metre wide access roads, uh, two houses, and uh, they'd stopped them there. But what concerned us after dark was that uh, if there was a flare up and the spark jumped the five metres, which is four and a half metres, which is nothing to jump for a fire, in the wind that was blowing that night, it was a very, very strong northeasterly, uh, we'd have exactly the same problem as what uh, the house we saw burnt um, had, that you know, once the flare up started, there was no helicopters to put it out. And so you would have been at the mercy of, well, nothing really. <laughs> it, was, it was just going to happen. So, so your, your appreciation of helicopters, pilots... Oh, they did a stunning job. Absolutely stunning. God knows how many hours they did. Oh, I must have, and the difficulty of, fly, of, of, of flying in those conditions with the smoke and the, the up, heat coming up on the, and, and the, the lack of... Suddenly they've, they've got grip, the next minute they've got no grip. And I think they did a stunning job. Um, they spent most of their time looking for water um, to, to drop their proboscis in to get some more water. Yeah, it was, that was a shambles. There was just no available water of any, of any consequence to, to fight it. Uh, and um, I think they did a brilliant job. I, we are seriously worried the, uh, any inquiry, any review of this fire will focus on the fact that the helicopters did a brilliant job. No one's denying that. They did a fantastic job. Uh, and focus on the fact that in June the uh, fire brigades will become one and um, all will be well after then. Um, but there's some serious issues have to be addressed with this fire uh, over lots and lots and lots of areas other than just the fire. There's a whole lot of structural things behind it that we really do need to focus on and, and try and put things in place that will limit this happening in the future. For the last three or four years, myself and neighbours have been sort of leaning over the fence and saying it's not if the, the Port Hills go up in flames, it's when they go up in flames. We've seen it getting worse over successive years and yes it'll be fine for the next year or so because the regrowth of grass will be nice and green and it'll look fine and the gorse won't have grown yet but you know, five years from now we'll be back to the same conditions that we had this year and we'll be all on again. Scary. Oh it is scary mm. but we're perpetually will subdivide into these useless blocks of land um, to put a house on. There's nothing like enough um, uh, uh, grass to uh, sustain animals over the winter, to have enough animals over the winter to maintain the spring growth and then next minute it goes dry 
you've got a fire roast. And it doesn't matter whether it's the Port Hills, it's in, you've got them all over Canterbury. You've got them out in Burnham, you've got them out in North Canterbury. Oh, I've just, you know, I've, I've argued against four hectare blocks for a long time for different reasons than this, but maybe, maybe someone will start seeing that this is, these are ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous, and they're going to cause us a major problem. On a brighter note, How's Marlborough going for wine? Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. They've had, they had a, an interesting season in terms of rainfall, uh, probably in regards to average rainfall. So they've actually probably had an average rainfall before Christmas, uh, and they've had some brilliant weather since. A couple of big rains, which have helped. We turned our irrigation off for a week. We had a very good rain a week ago. Uh, started again today. Um, so it's looking good. Looks as though uh, we'll have a... Um, we think we'll have a slightly smaller crop than last year which was a large crop but so we th we'll have a good crop a very good average crop um, but the industry is saying saying that you know there's going to be a, another large crop and they're going around and, and reducing fruit load on the vineyards which I think is a very brave move at the moment but nevertheless it's the way it is. And very briefly Hayden Padden I know because you and I are both into motorsport mm. he's still got the odd pro mental problem from oh, Monte I think, Carlo. Well I, I, I think it's it was going to take Sweden to get his confidence back, uh, irrespective of the fact that he was completely blameless in that activity other than the fact that he left the road. Well, he didn't leave the road, he hit the bank, but the pe person should not have been there. So no one's casting aspirations at, at, at Hayden for that or the sport for that. Uh, but it does take, uh, I think every time you saw spectators well, standing on the side of the road, at least initially on the first few stages of Sweden, he probably was thinking, oh dear. Um, but then as he got going, it was fine. Unfortunately, he was uh, hand, very much handicapped when the power steering failed and he sort of had to wrestle this lion for all morning, um, which, was, which was the quote of the rally. Uh, I think come Mexico in two weeks' time, I think we'll see a, 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 a he's back onto his favourite surface. Um, and there's no doubt that the Hyundai is a brilliant car. You know, Thierry has led both rallies, should have won both of them, but the, car, the Hyundai is probably the pick of the cars at the moment. So, uh, yes, I think he should go very, very well. Right. Thank you very much indeed.